Yeah. <laughs> fire, fire, fire. Um, I mean, hi, welcome. So if you're wondering whether or not the Ryzen 1700 stock cooler, that is the Wraith Spire, is any good, this video is for you. I'll be comparing it to the Craig X62 that I have. I know it's out of its league, but it's just to give you an idea where the temperatures are and the sound levels, or whether or not you should make a candlelight out of it, like these two. Gotta keep up to date with the newest games. Check this out. Ooh, Doom 2. Now, one thing to note here is that the temperatures I show in this video is from an overclock Ryzen 1700. So, of course, if you don't overclock, the temperatures will be somewhat lower. And now, time for some B-roll and the benchmarks. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I mean, okay, so the temperatures are a bit high, but I think that's to be expected. I mean, compared to the price anyway. But I'd say if you want to overclock the CPU, this cooler is not for you. And if you bought a Ryzen 1700, I think you'll be able to afford a better cooler than this. But what about the noise then? Well, here's a... Uh, non-scientific, very low-tech sample, and I'll let you be the judge of it. It's a very subjective thing. Okay, so when this cooler is running about 25 to 50%, it's barely noticeable. I, I, I bet your case fans will probably sound a bit lou uh, louder. But when it gets to around 75%, it's, it's loud. Uh, there's no denying it. Of course, if you have a cheap graphics card, those fans will probably be louder, but it all adds up, you know, so... Anyway, this was just a short little video about the Wraith Bio stock cooler from Ryzen 1700 or the Ryzen 5 7, 1600, I think. So, if you liked this video, please give it a like. 
or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And if you want to watch more, then please subscribe to my channel.